Pioneer 1 was launched on October 11, 1958 at 8.42 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. The payload weighed 38 kilograms, destined for lunar transfer orbit, and it was launched on a Thor DM-18 Able-1 rocket. This was the first spacecraft launched by NASA, and its ambitious mission was to not only pass by the moon, but to become the first lunar orbiter. The chances of it doing so were slim, but the probe did have enough fuel to capture into lunar orbit if it was tossed close to the moon. It was spin-stabilized by the second stage of the rocket, something which will not be depicted in the video, unfortunately, so that it would have its retro rockets pointed in the correct way for capture around the moon. In lunar orbit, it would have had a mass of 23 kilograms. It did not succeed in its mission, but it was certainly more successful than its predecessor, Pioneer Zero, which exploded due to a faulty turbo pump during the first stage. That led to the replacement of all turbo pumps on Thor and Atlas rockets, which shared the same pump. For Pioneer 1, the issue was too high a pitch during the first stage, which led the second stage to cut out early because it had already reached a target altitude for the solid third stage. To add injury to insult, after leaving the third stage short of Delta V, the second stage actually bumped into the third stage. Pioneer 1 had an apoapsis of 113,800 kilometers, only about 100 meters per second short of the velocity it needed to hit the moon. It had not made Earth orbit though, so it had a negative periapsis. In a last-ditch attempt to keep it in orbit, NASA considered firing the probe's retro motors to boost that periapsis, but by the time this would be done, the ignition system had frozen. Pioneer 1 re-entered two days after launch. Among many instruments it carried, it had an imaging system which could transmit back infrared images of the lunar surface. It also made further measurements of Earth's magnetic field. Since it was tossed so high up, those were the best magnetic field measurements made up to that time. On that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Pioneer 1.